the reason why he came that's the heartbeat of god and that is why the bible says when a single soul is worn the whole heaven is thrown into party if somebody dies and you pray for him to come back to life heaven doesn't rejoice over that if you receive breakthrough heaven doesn't rejoice over that if you are i mean fulfill your mandate heaven doesn't rejoice but when a single soul is worn the whole heaven rejoices why that is the only thing that matters to god the salvation of man the salvation of man the salvation of man that's all that is the reason why our lord had to go through excruciating pain on the cross crying unto the father for the souls of man and he said now i have chosen you and i have ordained you that you go out there now because i've paid the price and bring in the fruit bring in the fruit and make them remain and when you have done that now ask of my father anything in my name and he will do it so you cannot ignore the condition and expect to have the reward. The condition is that I have ordained you, like I said, the word ordination means empowerment. I have empowered you to go and win souls because I've paid the price. Now, when you are committed to winning souls and you are committed to make sure Christ is forming them, now ask my father anything. Ask my father anything in my name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ask my father anything in my name and then he will do it. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. He will do it. He will do it. So this is his commandment. And Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commandment. You love me, prove it by obeying my commandment. What is the commandment in this context? I have chosen you, I have ordained you, that you go out there and bring fruit. You see, when you don't love God, you can't be committed to the things of God. Because it is going to cost you something. It is going to cost you something. You are going to have to deny yourself of something. You are going to let go of something. Sometimes you have to let go of money. You know, I don't know why when it comes to the issue of money, people have so much problems. Letting money go. You know, Pastor Dika taught me something. He said, Pastor Travis, break the whole of money over your life. Otherwise, God will never bring the abundance of it. When money has a hold on you and God blesses you with abundance, it destroys you. He said, break the whole. I said, okay, how do you know when money has a hold? He said, any time you feel it when money is going out of you for the work of god it means money has a hold on you anytime you have to take and analyze and subtract and and add and put it down and pick it up and put it down and pick it up and 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 pray father is it your way you know he said it means money still have grip on you it has a hold on you he said if you cannot freely release it when it comes to the work of God or when it comes to the needy, it has a hold on you. He said, like Papa said yesterday, he said, God will be afraid to give it to you because he doesn't want you to be destroyed by it. Yes. But the said, you know how I broke the whole of money over my life? I, I, you know, people like the way people struggle with ties, ordinary ties and offering, they struggle to do it. And people have been paying it, but as far as God is concerned, they have never paid tithe before. But they think they are paying it. And you know how? God said 10%. Now, you don't decide time. God himself decided it. He said it's 10%. So, if the person has $1,000 every month, 10% is 100 And then he brings $80. As far as God is concerned, you have never given time. Until it is 10%, it is not tight. God, because you can't know what God's standard. You can't decide for him. He said 10%. And God knows the income. So until it is 10%, you, are not, you can be paying $99.9. You can pay it all years. You would never see the blessing of tithe because you haven't paid tithe. So pastor said, each in those days, I pick, because he said in those days, I was in debt. I mean, financially, I was in crisis. So when I pick my book check and I'm going to pay my tithe from the little income, the devil comes. Ah, 
when you have problem, you have to pay this bill, you have to pay that bill. I mean, God understands. He said, hey, devil, is that me you are tempting? No, instead of the 10, I'll make it 20. I'm slapping your face by making it 20%. And he said his heart will still be bumping. <laughs> he said, eh, hey, you are still tempting. I will make it 50. If you continue, I will give everything. And he said, I wasn't kidding. I will, I, I will give the 50. Then the following month, it comes again. My heart will be bumping. He said, uh, you are still tempting. This time I will even make it 70. And he, he said, I was doing it and it wasn't easy. But I was violently breaking the whole of money over my life. He said, that was how I received that deliverance. And that was it. He said, a time came that when money is flowing out of me, I'm just happy. I'm, I'm just happy. He said, and sometimes I wish nobody brings any money to the church. I want everything to come from me. And he said, that was how mysteriously God canceled my debt. God canceled my debt just like that. You see, so this is why I always say that Christianity is not being a church member. Christianity is learning how to walk with God to manifest Him in every area of your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so, I have chosen you that you go out there and bring food. And He said, Do you love me? If you love me, you obey my commandment. You obey my commandment. And so, He asked Peter in the book of Matthew 21 15. He says, Simon, son of Jonah, thou loved me more than this. And we know how Peter answered. He said, yes, Lord, I love you. And what did Jesus say? Feed my sheep. You want to prove to me that you love me? Feed my sheep. Now, look at it. Peter and his uh, friends, after Jesus died, Peter said, well, thank God I didn't destroy my boat. And then the next two are headed somewhere. So, hey, the guy is gone. Let's go back to business. So they went back to business. <laughs> and then they had gone all night, no catch. <laughs> and they were coming. Jesus appeared on the show. Boys, did you have any catch? Oh, forget it. All the fishes are now wise. They are always running. They just cut the net there. And then here was bountiful catch. 